lot scary in the front right now. Wow. Yeah. You guys can sit down. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So, yo, thank you so much for the warm welcome. Can everybody hear me perfect? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. 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 Woo! All right, first and foremost, I want to give it back to the leadership. Why? Because it doesn't matter how good Athena is. It doesn't matter how good I think I am or my team. If it wasn't for about six to eight individuals in the room right now, none of you guys would even know that this company exists. So before you clap, I want to say all their names very, very clearly. I want, I want to celebrate Suhail, Alicia, Lily, Abador, Javid, Bells, Yassine. And I feel like I'm forgetting somebody right now. Maybe I'm not. I said them all. Perfect. I was saying in the back in my head. All right, perfect. Can we give a warm applause for them, please, guys? I appreciate you guys so much. So first and foremost, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about myself, and then I'm going to get into a very boring subject that nobody likes to talk about, but I promise it's so that all of us can do this for the long term. Everybody wants to make long term money, right? That's what we're here? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. So my name is Hassan Mahmoud. Um, my family migrated from Palestine when we were young. They left Palestine to avoid war and they moved to the US. Now don't get me wrong, I'm very blessed, very grateful that I grew up in the United States of America, right? But just because I grew up in America doesn't mean that I didn't live a very tough life. My family had seven kids, we lived in a one bedroom apartment, and I remember until I was 13 years old, me and my brothers slept in the living room, our, our bed, we didn't have money for beds, we slept on the floor head to toe. Anybody ever watch like Snow White, like you see the, what are those things called again? Dwarves. The doors, thank you. Me and my brother slept head to toe on the floor every night for 13 years of my life, right? And so I remember those times. I'm very grateful for them. We may not have had money, food sometimes, luxury, basic human needs, but the one thing that my parents said I thank God every single day for, they gave us love. They gave us moral, they gave us ethics, they gave me integrity. And so I went on a journey the rest of my life and all I wanted to know was why is it some people in this world, they have money and others don't? Has anybody ever wondered that? Like why do some people make way more money than my family, right? And what I found out was the only difference that separates someone from who's poor and someone who's wealthy is information. Somebody gave somebody a piece of information at one point in their life that completely changed the trajectory of it. And so I went on a search. I wanted to break the cycle in my family. And let me tell you, it was not easy. I lost a lot of money, more importantly, I lost a lot of time. But eventually, I figured it out, right? When you want to do something really, really bad, you eventually figure it out, no matter how many times you fall down. That's commitment, okay? And so, I was very blessed. I got introduced to network marketing. Did extremely well. My first two years, did a quarter of a billion dollars in sales in a company where it cost $5,500 to get in, wow. okay? You don't, you don't have to talk for that, no, no. I'm, I'm not saying that to impress you. I'm saying that to you guys because what happened for me, my life completely changed. And so I became obsessed with showing people that this industry works. Anybody ever talk to anybody? I feel like people are gonna raise their hand right now. Anybody ever talk to anybody that you go talk to them about this amazing product, doesn't matter if it's economy or a previous company, and they tell you, oh, it's, it's one of those things. <laughs> right? I hated when they did that, I hated it. I was like, your job, well, it's one of those things, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so I went on a mission to show people that this is the best thing that they could use for cash flow, for leverage. And so I, that's my personal mission. I'm not saying that's your guys' mission, till this day, that's my mission. That's, it's a big reason why I open economy, because I felt like it starts from the ownership. Most companies talk about wanting to change the industry, we're gonna disrupt the industry, we're gonna help so many people, this, that, the other. But usually, and it's not me taking a, 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 a what's the right word? I dig at most owners in the industry. I consult, I've consulted a lot of them. I've worked with multiple multi-billion dollar companies, but the one thing that I couldn't stand is that most owners just sit back and just collect their check, mm. right? And I just couldn't stand that because if they truly were passionate about it, if they truly cared about their mission, what we talk about, then they should be in the front just like everybody else. Do you guys agree? Yeah. Right? And so a lot of why economy exists is because I want to show people before even the financial part, that we can show the industry how to be better, okay? Mm -hmm. And so I was very, very blessed and lucky to have gathered the team that I have, very, very lucky. I like to think we're kind of like the Avengers, and we just added another, we just added another Avenger like Javid, right? Mm -hmm. So, and, and that's, 
just like the back end team. Like, dude, do you guys know who's in the in the room right now? Like, you got Lily, you have Ali, you got Suhail and Alicia, and everyone else that's spoken so far. You see, like, do you guys understand? All of these people have come together in alignment. Like, if you ask them, hey, have you guys ever worked together before? Everyone said no, but they haven't. Why? Because what we have here is special. The eagles are at the door because everyone sees what the bigger picture. Okay. So now I'm going to talk to you about a subject real quick that we like to talk about. It's called compliance. Uh -huh. right? I heard somebody say, ah. Oh. <laughs> Listen, I remember when I was a distributor, I would say the craziest things, right? I'm not going to lie to you. I would say the craziest things. Why? I wanted to make money. But I didn't understand that those things could come back and hurt the bigger picture. Okay? I allowed my desire to change my status in life financially to, to overpower the protection of the company. Okay? And it starts with all of us. It starts with me, and it starts with every single one of you guys. Okay? And if we can do this part, I promise you guys, God willing, and Arabic would say, inshallah, it's out, of our, it's out of our control, but God willing, this thing will be here 15, 20 years to come. Okay? I know I did my job on the back end to do that. I know I did that with our products, but God forbid, the best thing I can say is that we will be here long term. But the only thing that can destroy us is us. That's it. So when you guys are marketing online, on your stories, on your posts, in person, I don't care what you say. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Okay? Some people go undercover. Don't do that. But when you're, when you're marketing, just be conscious. I know it's so easy to post Athena or another service and show the results. Like, hey, hands free, did nothing, baby. Trust me, I want to do it myself too. But the thing is, and this is just the way the world works. The governments in first world countries don't like change. They like controlled change. The economy is disruption. The economy is innovation. The economy is change created by the people. And so governments don't like that change because they don't control the change. And so I'm telling you guys, we're a baby right now. This thing's gonna hit a million members, easy. We're gonna close the year strong with about 20,000 people, easy. Next year, like people ask me like, yeah, you think by the end of next year we'll get 100,000 probably? The truth is, I, th I think it's gonna be insane. I really do because I just said something earlier that we talk about all of the time. Nobody even knows we exist. You can ask Mr. Saleh right now. For a whole year, nobody knew Athena existed. Can you guys believe that Athena's been alive in the retail world for 16 months and nobody heard about it until about like three weeks ago? <laughs> See, me and Addy thought it was crazy. I'm just kidding. But the truth is, everything has its time, okay? And so with compliance, just remember, guys, in all of your posts, I mean, it's in the back office. If you need assistance on how to find it, please speak to Addy or two of the leaders that will help you guys find it. There's a disclaimer by the company. If you post a photo, you post a video, just throw it on there. If you don't know how to throw it on there, we have videos on how teaching you how to do that. Now, that doesn't just do it by itself. Now, if it's a video, let's just say it's your story or a video, it works. But if you guys are making a physical post, what do I mean by a physical post? You go to Facebook, make a post. If you go to Instagram, make a physical post, something that stays there forever. You need to not only put a disclaimer on it, on the photo or video, you're gonna have to put it in the copy as well at the bottom. Does that sound like hard work? No. no. You guys wanna make money long term? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's all we have to do. That's literally all we have to do to protect the shit. And if somebody's not being compliant, nobody will know you snitched, but send, it, send an email to compliance, say, hey, compliance at econ.com. Don't, don't, don't use my name, but this person over here is not, can you just reach out to them? Seriously though, please snitch. Uh, but seriously guys, if you ever feel like you have something, you have a post, you have a video, you have, you have a marketing system, whatever it is, before you go live with it and you're just like, I don't know, am I, am I gonna get in trouble for this? Will this put the company at risk? Will this hurt everybody? Just send an email to compliance. Our team is happy. I know the word compliance, people get like scared or mad about it. Our team, they're like the happiest people in the world. So just send an email, compliance at economy.com and say, hey, I'm thinking about using this, is this compliant? And they'll literally just tell you yes or no, okay? Some of you are pros, you don't need to do that, right? But I just wanna give the new people in the room the ability to grow like everyone else, okay? So, now that the boring subject is over, um, I wanna talk a little bit about the future, okay? You all are so lucky to be in the room right now. I'm not kidding. Like, 
you are all so, so, so lucky. I have seen multiple times, especially in the trading MLM space, things that have gone down that people just have life-changing changes, life-changing income, life-changing results, and it all happened in 90 days. 90 days after a group of individuals, and there's about, what, I think like 200 people in here, but just if there's 10 people, just 90 days with a group of 10 people who are committed, see the long-term vision, the conviction, they have all that, that certainty, they will take that to 100,000 users in under 12 months. Easy. Especially only if the product works though, right? I'll tell you guys something. I'm not as talented as Lily. I don't know how she was making 80, 100 grand a month selling air. I can't do that. <laughs> That's respect. Um, but what you guys should have took from that story from her is that if she could do that, her, and other people could do that as well, what can you do with something that works? Like the story about her father, that gave me chills. I was talking to my friend David in the back, like that gave me chills. Because this is something that you can talk to your family about. I remember when I got into trading, like I was so excited about it. And you know, I listened to people, I'm just gonna use that word, I'm not gonna bash anybody's names right now. And he labeled people as expert traders. They labeled technology as expert technology. Sometimes marketing is really sweet, right? And you just believe it. I don't think people lie. And then I put my mom on it, she drops $10,000, I put my dad, I put a cousin, I put a family friend, and then like a week later, everyone lost money. And they're blowing up my phone, hey, hey, what, what, what happened? You said this, expert this, expert that, blah, 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 the data, this. And you know what? I had nobody to blame but myself. And in that moment, I felt so ashamed and embarrassed. I said, I never, ever want to feel this way again. Has anybody in here got somebody involved in trading and you felt like dirt after they lost their money? I know like there's only like 12 people picking up their hands. I know you're all liars. It's okay. <laughs> we all do it. It's okay. It's okay. It's not our fault. But we learned from it. And so I want you guys to know from the top down, I learned from it. And I would never put any of you guys at risk. I want you to know that. I would never put anything in this company, whether it's Athena or a trader, education, giving you guys information to go do something with the products that would put your mother at risk, your father. And maybe you don't like your mom or dad. Maybe your brother or sister, I don't know. But the people you love, I'll never put those people at risk for them to come to you and say, hey, I trusted you. So I want you guys to know that, okay? Now, I've seen this thing happen many times in the industry of the trading MLM world. And every single time those things blew up, they always died out. Yeah. Why? Three things. You seen talked about it a few minutes ago when he was speaking, we discussed it the other night. Everything complements each other. The price, the products, and the commission engine, which is the complement. You guys look at all the companies in the industry right now. I don't believe we have competition. I say that with extreme humility. But you look at all the companies in the space, they might have one of those three things. Maybe the comp plan's nice, maybe the price is nice, maybe the services work for like two or three months. It could be any of those things. But I would go to a very heated debate with you to give me a company that has two. Very heated debate. And I know they don't exist, because I know what's in the market. It's my job to know what's in the market. You see, we talked about it earlier. Analytics, data. I go to a heated debate with you on that. Now, not only do we not have two, economy today, and I always say today because people sometimes innovate, but today, economy not only has one, two, we have three. Three, it's like a perfect trinity, ladies and gentlemen. And all you guys have to do is share the information, share your own results. I mean, for God's sakes, this is probably the first time, I'm gonna say 99% of the room actually has their own results, and they're not just sharing another leader's results. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to do that And all you have to do is talk about it. Easy, right? Simple. Listen to the leaders. You guys are lucky. You don't have one, two. Most MLM companies have like three people who try to train everybody. I'm telling you guys as the owner and the founder and CEO, I am humbled. Humbled by the level of people that are in my company. The level of leadership, the level of experience. And here's the best part. Everybody wants to help everybody. They don't care what line you're in. That's a true family. That's a what? That's a movement. And so listen to the leaders. Get put in the trading. Show up to things like this. Because I'm telling you guys, the only thing that will stop you from seeing success in this company from a building side, we're not talking about the products, 
We're going to deliver on that. That's our responsibility. Don't worry about that. But from the building side, the only thing that's going to stop any of you from hitting Mogul 100, going Icon, is yourself. And what's so powerful is that usually in rooms like this in the beginning, everybody's probably like, oh, but that person for sure will go Icon. Oh, they, they do it in every company or whatever. And there might be one, there might be two, there might be three people in the have the persistence to get past all the bad stuff that the company has and they'll still find success, right? We all, they're, they're just experts. That's all it is. It's like when an athlete goes to a team, they have a statistic behind them that they'll do a good job. But this is probably the first time in any of our careers that anybody in the room can go icon. Any of you. I don't care if you've made $100,000 a month in this industry. I don't care if you've made $500 a month. I don't care if you guys have never met anybody and you're just an apprentice right now and you're in this room right now. I'm, talk I'm talking to all of you. You have the ability to go icon. And the ability to go far from there, okay? So really understand that. You have everything you need. We're gonna keep putting stuff out there for you guys. And by the way, people ask me the whole time since I've been here, no, the website, that's not the final website. Guys, we have a new website coming out. We have a new back office coming out. The whole academy is getting a beautiful facelift. You guys are just seeing everything early, right? And imagine Apple just came out, they just rolled out the iPhone, and every single person in this room got to use the iPhone before everybody else. That is what's happening right now. That's a bold statement. And what happened to the iPhone? When the iPhone came out, everybody said, it's a trash phone, it's broken, it doesn't work, nobody will buy it, nobody's interested in it, this, that, the other. They're gonna keep buying flip phones. I remember this very clearly, I was in seventh grade. And literally in one year, nobody had flip phones anymore. In one year. You either had, you had to have a sidekick, I don't know if I was out here in the UK, there was a sidekick, or an iPhone. And then by the second year, 95% of the market had iPhones. Anybody in this room have an iPhone right now? Anybody, right? And that is how early all of you guys are. You have the ability to market this product before everybody else. Think about that, don't sleep on that. Do not sleep on that, I'm telling you, I wish, I wish, when I got involved in this industry, this was the, the, the product I was marketing. I wish it was the price. Can you guys imagine talking to people and doing a whole presentation? By the way, guys, um, it's $5,500 to get started. <laughs> and I still was muttering the number because I was so unconfident in myself. <laughs> oversell it, right? So that's absolutely truth. That's the funniest thing, you guys. This is probably the first time you guys don't have to oversell something, right? Hey, this is how much it costs. Here's the results. If you want it? Cool. You don't, I don't care. I'm going to somebody else. That's powerful. It's absolutely powerful. So. I appreciate you guys for coming today. I really do. I'm so excited for the day on Sunday. Listen, I know Alicia's not gonna agree with me right now, but you guys should have people standing, sitting in chairs, and sitting in the front row on the floor. That's how powerful what we have is, and that's how you guys should act and take advantage. Fill the room. Fill the room. And I promise you guys, 90 days from this Sunday's event, there's no reason why none of you can go icon. It's 90 days. And here's the crazy thing, I'm not telling you guys to wait a year and make money. Go hard for the first 90 days. You're gonna have an incredible, incredible position in the company. Now you have some residual income for yourself. But commit to this for a year. Commit to it to five years. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the biggest things uh, when I met with Addy, when we first met. Guys, you know, before I talk about that, I just want you to, I want you guys to understand the magnitude of this, okay? Addy, when I met him, he was at a company where he was making, he's not, he doesn't talk about it, he has extreme humility. He was making 135,000 US dollars a month. And since there's cameras on right now, uh, disclaimer, uh, get pro, uh, success is not guaranteed network marketing, I'll do it like that. <laughs> Anyways, but he was making that kind of money. And not only was he making that kind of money, his team was in momentum, he was about to pop 175,000 US dollars a month. We had a conversation. That's all it was. He looked at everything we had, and he resigned two weeks later from that check. Can you guys imagine giving up that kind of money? Why? I have goosebumps thinking about it right now. Why? Because it's powerful because he saw something that anybody could win in, and he knew that. He could recreate that times a million, and he's not the only one. Lily, she walked away from a high rank in the company she was. She was the face of the company. <laughs> And the only thing that came out of her mouth 
I mean, the first time we met, she was really rude. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm just kidding. It's okay. She made up for it. But she she wasn't rude like, hey, back off, fool. She was rude because she was sick of her team getting hurt. Do you understand what I mean? She was sick of the only one making money. And she said, the whole conversation, and then for two months after that, this has to work for my people. Because if it works for the people, then I'll do it. I'll scream it from the, roof, from the rooftops. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have here. That's how we know what we have is special because people like Eileen, like Lily, are leaving checks for the people. Why? Because anybody can recreate it. Everybody can win here. Okay, everybody can win here. But when me and Heidi met up for the first time, he went through the ringer. And the one thing that him and every other major leader I've spoken to the last two months is they talk about one thing, longevity. I am promising you guys that I will do everything in my power to make sure this company here is here 20 years from now. Inshallah, in Arabic that means God willing, right, inshallah. But, Let's just say this lasted for five years. Let's just throw that out there for whatever God, something I can't think of. Guys, if you just did this for five years, five, five years of your life, it's not a long time. Some of us go to school for much longer. Some of us have worked a job about, this. there may be some people in your world had a job for five years, 10 years, right? And all that commitment, all that hard work that you guys put into it. I'm telling you guys, do this for yourself. I'm not, I, I'm not telling anybody to quit their job. I, I, and if some of the leaders say this, I'm sorry that I'm gonna go against what you guys say, but I don't believe in quitting jobs. If you have a job, guys, keep your job. Jim Rohn talks about all the time, keep your job and create leverage. Have your job, you work on your business when you get home, off hours, whatever. It's easy now, we all have, do social media at work, right? But create leverage in your life, do it. Five years. At the end of the five years, you will have more money than you could even dream of. You will break the financial, disability of your whole life, your genetic code. I was that person. And the question is, is it gonna be you? Every family, every lineage, whether it's a thousand years from now, right now that you live in, 10,000 years ago, there's somebody that was in somebody's family that said, I can't do this anymore. I know that as a human, I shouldn't survive to just pay bills and survive and be stressed out every single month. And they broke the cycle for their family. So I'm telling you guys, be that person for your family. If it's not you, somebody's gonna do it. But wouldn't it be much sweeter and much nicer if you do that for yourself? And I can tell you guys, I resonate with so many of the leaders here because for me, I wanted to break that cycle, but no, it wasn't because I wanted money. Like you, if you meet any of my close friends or family members in a really long time, I'm not a materialistic person. I'm not. But the one thing I wanted was to help my family. I wanted to take care of my dad. I wanted to take care of my mom. And by the way, I'm Arab. Like, we have a lot of cousins and a lot of aunts and uncles. Like, it's crazy. It's like a herd. Okay? And unfortunately, I love them all. My aunt's like my mom. My uncle's like my dad. My cousin's like my brother. My, my cousin's like my sister. And call me crazy, but I want to show those people that there's a better way of living too. So please, guys, if there's anything that sticks with you guys, let's pack the room out on Sunday. Do this for yourself. Do not give up and take it to the moon. Okay, thank you guys so much.